we have to prepare people today for jobs in 2020 or 2025 that don't even exist yet. Manufacturing is there to provide the goods and services that society requires for its everyday sustainment. The latest employment report showed 12,000 more factory jobs were cut last month and that The paper industry that began here in 1895 is responsible for defining Port Edwards. The mill once provided the land, the lumber, and even the paint for many of the homes that we live in. The mill provided good paying jobs and a stable economy for over a century. However, during the last decade, we have seen a downturn in an industry that was once rock solid. Now after 112 years of paper making here, it has been announced that the paper production in Port Edwards will end, will end in a few short months. Overnight, this community has changed. We are worried and wonder what the future brings. Manufacturing in the U.S. and certainly in, in, in northern uh, Wisconsin is not dead at all. Uh, it, new challenges, certainly new challenges, new challenges to be innovative. We can't compete just on low-cost labor. That's not our market anymore. That's, that belongs to, you know, to, to uh, Southeast Asia and Africa and places like that. That's where low-cost labor is. But if we want to be innovative, uh, if we want to come up with new creative products, if we want to create uh, some skills, skilled workers, some, 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 train some skilled workers and skills that perhaps we can't find elsewhere in the world, then we'll be as competitive as anybody. It's just that we have to go about it in different ways. No, we do need a manufacturing base. We need to overhaul it. We should not be making cars that you can make, make cheaper in China. We should be making... Uh, we shouldn't drive the jobs away. We should try and keep the capital here by having this be a destination resort for capital. I think we're at that point in history uh, where it, the business of tomorrow is not necessarily going to be the business that we had yesterday. Um, and. To that end, what we need to do is have, uh, have a mentality of change. The politicians, the demagogues, who wish to blame a particular group, whether they are the, uh, the business people they want to blame, or the new immigrant, or their different ethnic groups, or their parents in general, or their unions, you know, we, every different group that I work with, people always have, well, this, the real reason we have this is this one group. If we could just get rid of this group, everything would be fine. Well, one of the challenges that manufacturers have is creating the new employee, the employee with the skills of the future, the skills even today, today to deal with high technology and the, the problems and challenges that lie ahead. And it's, it's also a, a, thing to, a challenge for, for companies to find a diverse employee base because no longer are you going to be able to re rely on those the same old uh, middle-aged white guys to, to do your business. There are not enough of them around. There are not enough, there are not enough skills that they have. And besides that, they don't understand the diverse uh, network of suppliers, the diverse network of, of, of customers that we have out there. Marketplace Magazine presents the sights and sounds of the 2007 New North Summit, recorded live December 14, 2007, at the Blue Harbor Resort in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I'm Alex Zacharias from Educational Television Productions. We're working on a, a documentary called Manufacturing the Future. The premise of the story is uh, what Wisconsin history is uh, in, in regards to manufacturing, where it is today, and what the future may look like. 
in addition to the documentary, uh, there will be a website and it will be a site for uh, resources. And the, mainly the, the goal for this program is to bring awareness to Wisconsin itself that, uh, about manufacturing and uh, also for those that are, are not aware of this industry, meaning our younger generation. We we're trying to market them, uh, the high school and the college students, to understand that this is something that they can uh, indeed make a living on.